Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the set of Springwatch. For anyone who doesn't know, Spring Watch is a wildlife series that goes out live on telly here in the UK every spring. And for three weeks, the presenters and the enormous crew working behind the scenes track the changing of the seasons and they keep an eye on the local wildlife using hidden cameras. In fact, there are some in this barn. Behind me in the rafters, you might be able to see there are some cables, lights and cameras. And that's because the team are monitoring two nests. One of them has a little owl sat on it and the other is full of blackbird chicks. That's not all. There are cameras absolutely everywhere, including way out across the estate. If we go in here, this is the studio. The lights are all off. I'm sure you can just about see the main studio. Got the sofas are screened and then behind me, you have the kit. This is what you don't see. <laughs> But this year, they've launched something brand new and really exciting. It's called Spring Watch Wild Academy, a live show that's especially for schools presented by me. Um, it's a really interactive show with loads of ideas and games that will help you get out and about and also to help you encourage wildlife into your own back garden. Talking of which, today we're going to be making a bee b and b you might know that my mum and I keep honeybees and as a species they live in huge colonies in hives that they either make themselves or that are managed by beekeepers like us. But there are actually loads of different types of bees, around 270 in fact, and all of their homes can be really different. So this here is a man-made bee box that's perfect for solitary bees and this is actually home to a red mason bee and these little holes that have been drilled in the wood make the perfect home. Actually, as would all of these little cracks in the brickwork. But we know a red mason bee's been living in here because they lay their eggs inside and then they harvest mud, which they then use to block up the entrances to make sure the eggs are nice and safe. And then you've also got lots of types of bumblebees. And sometimes they like to nest in long grasses. Then others like the white-tailed bumblebee, which is kind of like your, your common, typical bumblebee with a white fluffy bum. Um, they actually will make nests in mouse holes or any kind of small hole that's been made by a mammal and has been abandoned. But that's the type of nest that we're going to be making today for our bee, bee and bee. To make it, all you're going to need is a terracotta pot with a hole in the bottom. That's the important bit. Then you want some straw, dry grass or hay. And finally, some rocks or bits of moss that's going to go around the side. So the Spring Watch Garden is full of loads of natural homes for bumblebees, like all of these cracks in the wall, for example. But what we're making today can go absolutely anywhere, and that's the important thing. And it's so, so simple. So I just empty this out and I'll show you what we need to do. We've got our terracotta pot and we just want to place it at a slight angle against a wall somewhere or on a patio, completely up to you. But we're going to fill it with all of this dry grass and the terracotta pot will help keep things a nice temperature inside. But so it doesn't get too warm, we're going to keep things cool and private by just blocking up the sides and the edges with some of this moss. Um, and actually, there are some rocks here. So I'm just going to keep things in place so everything's nice and sturdy with a few of these too. And there we go, I think that's rather lovely. Um, the straw inside is perfect for those bees that like to nest in tufts of long grass. And then this hole just here at the bottom of the pot makes the perfect entranceway, so it mimics a mouse hole, doesn't it? Which is great for those white-tailed bumblebees. And then I've just put these rocks and the moss around the edges. It helps to keep other things out, which means that as a nest, it's easier to defend. And that's it. That's a bee, B and b Nearly. Hang on. Hang on. Any decent b and b has a breakfast room. So to tempt some little critters to come and uh, take up residence, I'm just going to put some nice colourful flowers outside as kind of like a welcome mat. I think it looks great. And there you go, that's how you make a bee and b it's so easy. And if you have a go at making one, then take a picture of it and send it to me on Twitter or Instagram, at Maddie Moat, and I'll make sure to give that a like. I hope you enjoyed this little video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. 
Stay curious.